One down, two to go. Let's deal with E. Um, most calculus courses sort of assume that E is irrational, uh, and you have probably just assumed that E is irrational because it's 2.718281828459045 approximately, but you haven't seen any patterns, and so you're thinking, well, it's got to be irrational because it's irrational. Most numbers are. Um, but we can prove that E is irrational, and that's what I intend to do. Uh, first, we're going to notice that E is about 2.718, um, and so E is definitely between 2 and 3. So E is not an integer. And now we'll assume that E is some rational number P over Q with Q greater than or equal to 2. Um, P and Q are positive integers. And the GCD of P and Q is 1. That's the idea. So we assume that E is a rational number. If it's a rational number, it's a fraction in lowest terms. Uh, if it's a fraction in lowest terms and E is a positive number, then P and Q are positive integers. It's in lowest terms. And the fact that E is not an integer means that Q has to be at least 2. That's the key there. So which definition do we use for E? Well, E is 1 plus 1 plus 1, oh, I'm so sorry, 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus and so on. And this number is P over Q. This implies. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply both sides by Q factorial. We're going to multiply this side by Q factorial. We're going to multiply this side by Q factorial. And we're going to let the dust settle. So when the dust settles, Q factorial cancels out with this Q, leaving behind Q minus 1 factorial. And then what do you got here? You got Q factorial, and then another Q factorial, and then you got sort of Q factorial all the way down, right? Uh, except for the 2. This 2 is going to knock out the 2 from here, and so you're going to end up with Q times q minus 1 times all the way down to 3. And then you're going to multiply here, and you're going to get q, q minus 1 all the way down to 4, and so on. Well, what do you mean, and so on? Well, eventually, one of these is going to be 1 over q factorial. And the first, with the, well, the first one, the one that's 1 over q factorial is going to multiply with that and give you a 1. And then the next one is going to give you 1 over q plus 1. And then the next one's going to give you 1 over q plus 1 times q plus 2, and and so on. So now the denominators grow. So we're going to make some observations. This thing is an integer. It's an integer times the factorial of an integer, so this thing is an integer. This part is an integer. So here's what I'd like to show. I would like to show that this part is not an integer. And that will be where the contradiction is. 
that will be where the contradiction is. Because if we add an integer to something that is not an integer, then this whole right side is not an integer. And if this whole right side is not an integer, then it can't be equal to this. And then that's a contradiction. So if that's a contradiction, where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? We went wrong here. So that's the key to this proof. We're going to prove that the thing here, the thing starting here and going forever, cannot possibly be an integer. We're going to do it in two pieces. We're going to recognize that this thing has to be positive. Right? Uh, so let's see. Let's see. First, uh, 1 over q plus 1 plus 1 over q plus 1, q plus 2, and so on, is positive. And it has to be. q is a positive integer, and so all of these are fractions with positive, in, uh, positive numerators and positive denominators, and so this thing is positive. Second. Because Q is greater than or equal to 2, Q plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. Greater than or equal to 3. So, 1 over Q plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 third. And... 1 over q plus 1, q plus 2 is less than or equal to 1 third times 1 third, and so on. I can hear you through the YouTube saying, so what? Well, that means that 1 over q plus 1 plus 1 over q plus 1, q plus 2, plus 1 over q plus 1, q plus 2, q plus 3, and so on, is less than or equal to 1 third, 1 over 3 squared, 1 over 3 cubed, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We know about that. We know that this is a geometric series. First term, one-third. Common ratio, one-third. That's a half. That's a half. So, thing in blue brackets is positive and less than a half. So, thing in blue brackets is not an integer. And that's a contradiction. Thing in blue brackets is not an integer, which means integer plus not integer is not integer. And not integer cannot be integer, and that's the contradiction. So where did we go wrong? Well, Geometric series stuff is fine, and positive numbers, that's fine, and algebra, that's fine. So where did we go wrong? We went wrong here. We went wrong when we assumed that E was rational, and that closes out the proof. Uh, therefore, E is most certainly irrational. 
So here we needed power series, uh, which means that you can do this with your AP Calculus BC class, uh, but you can't do this uh, with it with classes who haven't studied power series unless you're going to argue for them, hey, check out with your calculator, I can make this as close to E as I want, it's basically E, uh, and then you could conceivably do that, but then the class would have to be savvy enough to know about geometric series, and that's an Algebra 2 thing. Okay? Okay. So there, two down, the big one to go, and that takes all of the time. So, so get a cup of coffee, come on back, click the pie video.